Welcome to Tinker Club. Welcome to the kitchen for today's steam club. Today we're going to be making Play-Doh. That's right, that squishy, soft goodness that you like to have so much fun with. Now, first things first, before we get started, make sure you ask mum and dad to help you. Make sure you're asking mum and dad to help you with the ingredients, pour the ingredients, and being safe around the kitchen. We won't be using any knives today, and we won't be using anything that's hot. So you'll be able to be hands-on, do a lot of things, but please make sure you still ask your parents for permission. Okay, let's get started. First things first, we need to clean down our bench so we have a nice, clean working area, and then we're going to collect all our ingredients. You are going to need a cup of flour, half a cup of table salt, half a cup of water, half a tablespoon of oil, and a food coloring of your choice. Well, that brings Steam Club to a close for today. I hope you've had a wonderful time making and playing with your Play-Doh. I can't wait to see the things that you've built. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye. Once we have all our ingredients ready, it's time to get mixing. First of all, take your salt and your flour and pour them into your bowl. You can choose to use a wooden spoon to start combining the flour and the salt together. Or if you'd like to get messy already, you can start to use your hands. Once that's nice and combined, which means the salt and the flour are evenly mixed together, you add your liquids. First of all, I'm going to add my water, my oil, and just a couple of drops of food coloring. Do be very careful with this one. I'm going to make mine a nice light blue, I hope. One, two. And then now, time to get mixing. It'll take a little bit of time to mix and come together, but we're going to have a Play-Doh that is going to be so much fun to play with. I wonder what things you're going to make with your Play-Doh. With mine blue, maybe I can make a blueberry. Now, as you can see, it started to come together and it's not mixing very well with my stirrer. So I'm gonna get my hands in and start to get messy. It's kneading, just a bit like kneading bread. I'm gonna knead it all so it comes together nice and smoothly. If at any time it feels a little dry, which means it doesn't feel like it's sticking together, feels like it's falling apart, just add a little bit of water. You only want to add a tiny bit of water each time so it doesn't get too wet. If you do add too much water, that's okay. Just add a little bit more of the plain flour. As you can see now, that's coming together quite nicely. It's not sticking to my hands, which is good. And all the little bits that were on my hand are actually joining my ball of Play-Doh. You can see what a lovely blue that is. Mm, I wonder if you recognize what kind of blue that is. Yeah. If we can look closely, you might be able to see some little sparkles in it. Those little sparkles are the salt that we're mixing in. I think I'm just about ready. A good way to test if your Play-Doh is ready is on a clean bench surface or a plate. Put on your Play-Doh and squish it down. You should be able to pull it up nice and easily without any of it sticking to the bench. And there you have it. 
So no cook Play-Doh. What are you going to make of yours today? Maybe we could make some shapes. Yeah, look at that. I've got a nice cube. Or maybe you'd like to make an animal. Hmm, what animals could we make? Now, I've never seen a blue dog before, so that might be quite cool. I've got his body. I've got a head on. Hmm. A tail? Do you think we can make a tail stick up in the air? And then two ears. I think I'm going to make my dog a dog that's lying down. Here we go. And there's my dog, all sitting, resting up in the sun on a nice winter's day. Here's a little monster truck that I've built out of my Play-Doh. When you finish building out of your Play-Doh, why don't you take a photo and share it online so all your friends can see what you're doing too. Now, if you want more Play-Doh, you can just double the recipe. That means you put in twice as much ingredients. So in, instead of one cup of flour, put in two. Instead of half a cup of salt, you put in a whole cup of salt. Double your oil to a teaspoon of oil and your water to one cup of water. You can adjust your food coloring as you like. If you want multiple colors, mix it together in your bowl. Mix it together in your bowl without the food coloring. Then split it into two halves and you can mix some food coloring into each half. I hope you have lots of fun playing with your Play-Doh. When you're finished, get a Ziploc bag or a plastic container and put your Play-Doh in there so it doesn't dry out. It's ready for next time. Well, I hope you have a lot of fun making your Play-Doh. Tune in next time for the next Steam Club. Bye for now.